Number 57. There's about one gram of calcium as Ca2+, right? 1.0 gram of calcium in 1.0 liters of milk. What's the molarity of the Ca2 plus in the milk? I don't know. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see ya. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> JK. JK, J play. That's what we used to say back in, oh my God, back in middle school. JK, J play. Anyway, let's find the molarity. Okay. So molarity, there's a formula, right? We've done this time and time again. It's this guy right here. Now, I guess in this case, I'll leave this in the upper corner. Not the upper corner, but the upper, the upper, the upper part of the video. Now, molarity equals the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. More simply, it's capital M equals the moles divided by the liters. So that's what we can write here. Molarity equals the moles divided by the liters. Now, if we're solving for molarity, we gotta know the moles and we gotta know the liters. Did they tell us any? Well, they didn't tell me a mole value. They told me that I had 1.0 grams, but they did tell me that it was in one uh, liter, right? So I know that the bottom number is 1.0 liters. Now I just gotta figure out the amount of moles. So I guess I'll do that on, on the right side. I have 1.0 gram of calcium, right? Two plus. And somehow I got to find out the moles of calcium two plus. Well, how do I go from a, a gram unit to a mole unit of the same compound? Well, that's this little quick trick down here. We could do dimensional analysis, but you know, once we're out of dimensional analysis mode, we don't really like to do dimensional analysis, right? So this is like a little trick. If you're starting off with grams, of either an element or a compound, right? Labeled X, just something. And I want to go to the moles of the same compound or element, right? X got to go with X. Ca2 plus goes with Ca2 plus. So they're the same. All I have to do is take those grams and I'm going this way. I just got to divide by the molecular weight. And the molecular weight, remember guys, the molecular weight is always found on a periodic table, the PT. They didn't tell us what the molecular weight of calcium is. So I got to go and find it. So let's get our periodic tables out. Molecular weight. Hold on. Molecular weight of Ca2 plus is, well, good news is that it's just the weight of a calcium. This, the two plus only tells me that I lost two electrons, but remember the mass of any object or any element is only the protons and the neutrons. The electrons are not part of the mass. So I don't have to do anything with this number. So I go to my periodic table. I see that the mass of calcium on my periodic table, it may vary for yours, but on mine, it says 40.08. And that's grams per mole. I don't have to subtract by two. I don't have to add two. Just know that the charges in the upper right-hand corner have nothing to do with mass. So that was kind of there, I guess, there for a little trick. So now I'm going back to the problem, right? I have one gram, so I'm at grams. I gotta go to moles. So I take my gram value and I divide by the molecular weight. So I got 1.0 grams of the calcium. And all I gotta do is just divide by the molecular weight, the 40.08. And that's in units of gram per mole. So let's do the math first. It's just one, one divided by 40.08. Uh, I start off with two sig figs. So I should technically have two sig figs at the end. So this is 0 0.025 moles of Ca2 plus, right? I'm seeing that right. I'm seeing that right. And Look at the units, right? I had a gram and then I had a gram again. Since those are the same units, they cancel. And I have only mole left. That's why there's only a mole unit at the end. So now I have this number, 
0.025 moles. Well, now I figured it out, right? Mole divided by liter is molarity, and they were asking for molarity. So now I can go ahead. Molarity equals 0.025 moles divided by the 1.0 liter. But anything divided by 1 is the same number. So this would be the same amount, 0 0.25. And now you can say that this is a capital M. Capital M is the, is the correct unit for molarity. But more specifically, since there was a mole unit on the top and a liter unit on the bottom, and these can't cancel, they're not the same, you have to keep them in your answer. So it would be 0 0.025 moles per liter. And that's the molarity for this little calcium solution. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if, if it did. And if you are in any other uh, classes, such as physics or math at the moment, we have videos for you as well. So you can go back and check our channel to see if maybe we can help you in those subjects too. I hope we can. Um, but yeah, keep studying hard. You guys got this. Molarity is... is not too bad. It's just formulas and conversions. Um, I think we're moving on to dilutions next. So I'll see you there. Okay. Bye-bye.